welcome to the second session uh in this session we are going to talk in second access we are talking to talk about uh, a bit more complicated uh, complicated case uh, the first one i'm going to talk about uh handling steric and multiple um categories access for the particular person so what i'm going to do is uh as an example you know this is uh, where we left last time we have steric and uh, I have the person two is from in here, and I'm going to give the access from the Excel file, and I'm going to reload the data. Uh, if you see uh, the first, I'm going to go for a single region, single uh, based only on the region. Uh, then I'm going to go on a complicated case using two um, fields, and uh, this one I have just listed in here uh, because I'm going to change. uh on the real time here in my excel sheet and uh, then i'm going to reload that uh but i've seen that you know there is a little bit of delay in uh file getting published so i have it in here and i'm going to showcase that what value exactly are coming in there okay so let's just get started i'm going to reload the data and the data is in there and if i just go in my the other users you see um the second user that i have listed uh in my access second access you see uh i just see for uk only so so far we have covered that in our previous session now what i'm going to talk about is let's say if i want to give in this particular user and access to an other let's say another region as well okay so in order to do that i have to may i not necessarily i can leave this particular line a blank and i have now i'm giving the access to 6 so i cannot write like this like 5 comma 6 uh necessarily but there is a way around that but uh, i won't recommend that Uh, for each line you have to write a separate access uh for each access you have to write a separate line so uh so that's it i think it's saved and let's just confirm that and i'm going to reload the data and i'm going to see the access part let's see the new users comes in or not it seems like no it's not the case if you see just two lines So I'm gonna reload that again. There should be three lines now. Still a no. Let's see in here. It's no. Okay. Let's try now. to not Okay so here we go Okay so now I if I go in here I can see USA in here as well. So you just saw that you know we just by adding a new row I am able to give this access to a user. Now let's do another thing rather than giving I want to give access to each and everything to this particular user. So if I put a strike in here so ideally it should be it should be available for the complete uh, i i should have the access to all the regions okay so 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reload the data again Okay, so here we go. We have now two rows, but if I come in here and I see this particular user on this user, I, I see access denied. So which means that I do not have access despite of the fact that I have a steric in here. So this is a very common issue. Steric only works if I have listed all the values. If I haven't listed all the values in here, the steric doesn't work. Uh, it's a very common scenario. It can happen. So there is a way around that. So I'm going to write a script, an inline load for this particular thing. And I'm just going to add access user email. That's it. Just two things. And I'm going to type in admin and I'm going to list test at example.com. That is not necessarily has to be correct one, but the idea is we have to get all the values so the second thing i'm going to do is i'm going to see use the left join and then i'm going to do is i'm going to use this particular table so i'm just going to pull region id from here And I'm going to say distinct so that just only six values come. So what this is going to do is this is going to create a resultant table which will have access field, user, email, and region ID with all the region ID. It's going to create like there are six regions. So it's going to be six regions. And this is also a foolproof way in order if you have given access to everything so for example, a new region get added, you don't have to do it manually, it will automatically get assigned. Yes, for the people whom you want to give limited access, you have to write another thing. But for the people who whom you want to give all the access, it will be done automatically. Okay, so and then I'm going to concatenate the rest of the table. That's it. So if I do that, I'm going to reload the data. Okay, and now if I come in here and see 
whether we what data we can see on the other user that um, I'm trying to give the access to here we go we have all the six regions uh, just look at the number of the records now the second thing I'm going to cover is that what if we give the access to a limited you know or the, to a second field here in this case it's the product line okay so just like let, let's have a look at the data so the product line is food um, there are two product lines in this data one is food and the other one is drinks so I'm for this particular user I'm going to give the access for, for the food okay so let's before making it uppercase for all the data so at the last in the last video I talked about uh, being in the uppercase uh, sorry being capitalized so it's not the capitalization it's actually the upper case for all the data okay so if I just do that and I reload the data and let's see what happened in here access denied the reason is that if you remember in the, my last video the access part in here should always be in upper cases so the field name as well as the values so in order to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write this upper to make it uppercase and then also I'm going to write this one and also in the table we have uh, because so that it matches with that it will not automatically match because uppercase lowercase in click doesn't match with each other so we have to write that in the our data as well so that they may become a uppercase field okay so let's reload the data now Here we go and let's just refresh this data particular data in here this other user here we go and if you see because of there were 90 97 thousand records we had because we are just looking at the food numbers so we have got one lesson so in this video what we have covered so far we have seen is that if we want to you know simple access is fine but if we uh, want to give the steric access to anyone for that particular thing uh, a steric only works if the values are already in the table and to make the values in the table what we can do is we can use like you know simple access and then a Cartesian product with no common field left join we have this particular table region ID and similarly you can have other um, fields if you want to so in this way it becomes a field and then I can concatenate that particular field with the actual second access part it so it becomes a big table and then the second thing that we found out is that if there is any lowercase letters it won't work so it has to be uppercase letter not only in the second access part but corresponding field should also be uppercase. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching.